Okay, this is probably the most complicated making something the subject type of question you'll have to do at GCSE. Here we're going to make Y the subject, and you can see there's a Y on the top and there's a Y on the bottom. That's the only part that makes it complicated. So first of all, let's get rid of this fraction. So to get rid of this divide by Y plus 1, we need to multiply both sides by Y plus 1. So that's going to now look like X bracket Y plus 1 equals 3Y plus 2. You'll notice the top hasn't changed, just multiplying by that has got rid of that. Now, we're going to multiply out this bracket. If you need to, you can use a grid. Otherwise, it's just X times Y is XY. X times 1 is X. And that still equals 3Y plus 2, because we haven't done anything to that side. Now we're trying to make y the subject, so we need to get all the y's together on the same side. So we're going to do that by subtracting 3y from both sides. And that will give us xy plus x minus 3y equals 2. Now we need to get rid of this plus x. So we move that over to the other side by subtracting x. That's going to make those cancel out. And that's going to leave us with xy minus 3y equals 2, take away x. Now we've got both the y's on the same side, but we only want one y. We want it to say y equals something. So to change this from having two y's to one y, we're going to factorise it, which means put it back into brackets. So we'll take the y outside the bracket, because that's common to both terms. y multiplied by x would give us the xy expression and y multiplied by negative 3 would give us negative 3y and that's going to equal 2 take away x now the only thing we need to do now is get rid of this x minus 3 at the moment that's multiplying the y by x minus 3 so the opposite of that is to divide both sides by x minus 3 and that's going to give us an answer that looks like y equals 2 minus x divided by x minus 3.